Okay, guys, welcome back. Welcome to part two of Spurverts. And it's still, still a Craig attack. Craig part duh, duh. That's right, I said it. D-E-U-X. Oh, anyway, yeah. you guys know what Spurverts is all about. It's just talking about what's been making us happy to be Spurs fans yeah. over the last week or so. What's been making you feel Spurverted, Craig Mitch? Because I know that Ericsson getting a new contract is starting to make me feel spurred. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Because there's all this talk, and I, do you think it's just talk? I'll let you come to that in a minute, of Juve being interested in him, Juve yeah. wanting to sign him. His agent came out and started yeah. making noises like it was true. But from all accounts, what I've heard is it's absolute BS. BS. They're just trying to angle for more money. Of course. Pay the kid the money. We Pay know, the we kid the, the money. He's, He's on 40 grand a week. Do you think that's enough for Ericsson? No, of course it's not. When someone crap like Walker is on 140 grand a week, dare I, dare I say Addy by all? Do we dare even mention the wages that that guy was on? I mean, it just doesn't compute. How can Ericsson be on 40 grand? Pay the kid the we money. We need to pay him. But do you know what it is as well? We had, I had this discussion with my mates and they reckon it's because he played in uh, the Dutch league and they don't really get paid that much no, over there. Don't. So 40 grand is still, you know, a huge amount. Oh, I think we, but over here, it's just not enough. We just doubled, we doubled his wages or something or even yeah, tripled yeah, yeah. his wages. We've got to do that again. We have got to do that again. It's Eight time. grand minimum. Yeah, you Levy. Checkbook. Sign him up. Sign him up. Do that. So that's that one sorted then. Come on, talking about Juve again, bringing it to another player. Yeah. We've got to go there. I'm sorry, we've got to go there. Eric Lamella to oh, Juventus. Oh, he can go. Door? Really? I'll That's show him the door. Just, Yo, yeah. go. What? Take the haircut with him. Take all the Joe in the world. I don't want to see it. Even more so than Bobby. You would you'd just kick him out of the club. He's got a same level. Same. We got them for the same similar sort of fee. Yeah. And uh, they've put in the same sort of crap performances. He did score in that season, that last season in Serie A. He scored 15 goals for Roma and made so nearly as his, many assists. That's his, his grounds. Can't he do that for us? No, that's where he needs to be. That kind of slow football where everyone's just not caring. All they care about is their pasta. Yep. He can be over there. Mm. He can overload on carbs. We don't want him here. I hate to say it, I'm in agreement once again. And I think the time has come for Eric Lamella. Is he just a show pony? Probably. Yeah. I mean, I thought, he, I, again, pace. I thought he had pace, but he doesn't seem he doesn't to have, have no, pace. He doesn't, he doesn't seem he to want to take players on. If we can nearly recoup the money we, we uh, paid for him, yeah. big club like Juve coming in for him, I think it's time to say goodbye. He's don't got to go back. Yeah. Back. Right. And the last thing I want to talk about, Craig Mitch, yes. is Eric Dyer. You're a fan, aren't you? I am. I'm a big fan of Eric Dyer's. There was a lot of talk about this kid before he came to Spurs. Yeah. The Those who shall not be named, the Woolwich Wanderers, yeah. were very, very interested and had lots of reports on this kid being their next CDM. Serious? Yeah, apparently so. But who cares about that? Because he's a Spurs man. He is. He is a yid. And he, he is. is at the club now and he's there to stay. I love him. I think he's improving. I think he's starting to look really good alongside Bentaleb or Mason or whoever so he, else so he's going to play in So that. you think he should be taken out of that whole centre-half well, equation look, and put into midfield? When In that season, that first season where he played in the seniors for Sporting, I think he scored like four or five goals. We, saw, goal in, we saw in his debut against West Ham that he's, he also scored. Runs through. Yeah. Sticks him away. I think that he could be one of those players that actually we're starting to find his best position. Yeah. What do you think? Is I'm, that... I'm a fan of him. He's the only Eric in our team that I like. Lamella, hit the door. Eric Dyer, stay. I like him. And it's not really football related, but he can actually give a decent interview. I watched him. He can actually speak. A lot of our players have trouble speaking. Yeah. I'm not going to put any names out there. You know who you are. Do I know? I'm not going to put any names out. He's not going to put any names out. I'm he's not, not going to do it. But anyway, Dyer, guys, very Eric trend. Dyer, yeah, he's he's very good with the camera. As are you, my friend. Thank put you. it there. Oh, look at that. Team I don't Craig. expect anything Love less it. from a Craig. Anyway, guys, look, this is Spurverts. This is the Craig attack, the Craig part de. Leave your comments below. Tell us what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And this is the Craig Spurred on TV Spurverts. How's it going guys? It is Craig Mitch here for Spurred On and welcome to another match preview. This week we have Leicester away 